Hey, it's Graham, Managing Director at Buddy Boss here for my first solo video update, where I will share with you what we've been up to in the last few months and what's coming up next at Buddy Boss. In this video, I will tell you about updates from our support and customer success team, where we've addressed the issues with constant credential requests. Product updates on the Buddy Boss web, what we've released in the past two months and what's currently in development. This includes details on Zoom, blacklisting domains, and reactions. The Buddy Boss app progress, sharing the new maintenance mode, and the upcoming updates to the blog and notification screens. I'll then talk to you about the services team and the launch of our done for you web service. The agency team, and our experience working with Vinny to customize his investment community. And Rapid, the brand new cloud hosting solution, which launches public beta very soon. Throughout the video, you will find timestamps below. And before I start with the updates, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're always staying up to date with what's happening here at Buddy Boss. As mentioned in our previous update, our support team are proactively working on keeping tickets low and helping you with all your product queries and technical support submission. As it stands, we're still able to keep open and active tickets to less than 100 open at any time, and we're actively looking to improve our responsiveness. We've also made it easier for you to store your live and staging credentials on your account, so you don't have to repeatedly provide these details. You can do this from your edit profile screen. In addition to this, we now require our team to have authorization before debugging on your site. So in future, we're always asked if we have this permission disabled. Finally, we've also made updates to our support portal submission form. This change makes it easier to get redirected to the right team to help you and have the tickets set with the appropriate priority. For customer success, we're still holding our daily app onboarding and open forum calls. We have a change in the team with Jessa joining us in the near future, so expect to hear and have more outreach from our success team in the very near future. As always, app customers can email success at buddyboss.com should they wish to get more information, any advice or support from our team. Since our last update, we've had a bunch of features and enhancements released. So let's start with the Buddy Boss platform. In the last two months, we've released our Zoom integration update. This was in response to Zoom depreciating the older JWT authentication and replacing it with OAuth. As you may recall from our previous update, this was a much bigger challenge than we anticipated due to the amount of integration that Zoom has, not only as a site owner on the platform, but also how your users can connect their Zoom accounts to social groups. We have published a step-by-step -step tutorial to show you how to set up and switch to OAuth. There is also a setup wizard within your groups. During September, we will be releasing a video tutorial once Zoom does depreciate JWT entirely. But if you haven't already upgraded your JWT to OAuth, you have an extended deadline of the 8th of September, so don't delay. Next, we've updated compatibility with LearnDash 4.8.0 to support course student limits with the start and end date enrollments. It's really important to us that we're always working with LearnDash to stay aligned with their latest releases and we'll continue to offer a feature rich integration as they unveil new features. And last week, we released a brand new feature to the Buddy Boss platform, registration restrictions. This feature allows you to blacklist specific emails, domains, and top level domains for new user registrations. You can also use whitelists to exclude specific addresses or use our only allow rules to lock your site down to a single domain, making it a perfect solution for internet style websites. We're really happy to implement this feature as we have a lot of educational customers who do want that control when it comes to new user registrations and we plan to add more options to this feature in the future. If you haven't watched the tutorial already for this, it'll be linked in the card above. We're currently working for a list of activity component features, and that's our primary goal through to the end of 2023. In the next couple of weeks, you'll see the first update where your users will now be able to edit their comments, which was previously only available to the original poster. 
There are also some upcoming database changes where we're splitting our likes into their own database table, which is a requirement before we can release reactions. We're also working on the functionality of showing a select amount of comments displayed on each post and then having a view more comments button. This will be a big experience improvement and also mean we'll be updating how the activity table looks, which is when we'll be able to release reactions. All this is to say, we're going to be releasing a lot of new features. Some of them will be released solo and others in a group release whenever they're dependent on any other updates. But rest assured, there's going to be a couple of months with a lot of highly requested features. Outside of this, we're still working on a notification digest solution reducing the amount of emails sent and the notifications displayed when they're received over a short period of time. And our Tutor LMS integration is not being ignored. But as previously mentioned, we need to put more focus on fixing existing experiences and feature improvements ahead of new integrations. As soon as any news on this integration is available, you'll be the first to know from a roadmap update. For the BuddyBoss app, We've been busy working on the newer libraries while still releasing new features and enhancements. The first big enhancement was back to our blog block. This was previously restricted to only show one single category but has now been extended. You'll also now have the see all button redirect to a filtered search which was previously unavailable. Next up, we added learn dash lesson and topic comments to the app. While many of you drive comments and discussions through groups or forums, some of our e-learning customers rely on topic and lesson questions for engagement. This new feature in the BuddyBoss app now shows comments on any lesson where they're enabled, so you can have the same experience on the app as the web. Last month, we also released the ability to enable maintenance mode in the app. This was to ease the pressure for administrators whenever they're doing updates or planning to migrate a site to a new web host. Now you can just turn on this feature and you'll receive a maintenance screen with your app logo and branding colors. And for our Android apps, be aware we've also updated our billing library to version 5.0, which was a requirement by Google. So if you haven't already, please submit a new build to the Play Stores making you compliant with their latest releases. Next week, we're updating one of our core app libraries, which will remove the need for the read more to be shown on any web fallback screens. Previously, this was a technical limitation, but it has now been overcome by our developers and we're able to render non-native blocks in a screen without displaying read more. I know many of you who are using the non-supported blocks were not a fan of this implementation, so I hope you'll like the improved view. We're currently working on updating our blog screens that will provide a newer layout as shown in our app for publishers demo. Firstly, we'll be moving the title off of the featured image, as this was a problem for many of you who placed text within the imagery. In addition to that, we'll be implementing the native share sheet, which when clicked allows your users to share your post with contacts or any other apps on their device. Finally, we'll be adding a related post section under the content so that your readers can find relevant interests and continue engaging with your content. We're also working on updating our notification screen to include swipe gestures and the ability to mark all notifications as read. This feature has been missing from the app from launch and we're really keen to bring that experience to match the same functionality as the web. Long term, we're still working on the new UI system that will improve customization options, custom development, and our ability to update the app screens with the new improvements, including dark mode and theming. This has been an ongoing design task for many months now, and we're not far from implementing this into the app, which unlocks a lot of new features through development for this year and beyond. Last month, we launched a done-for-you web service. It was a fantastic release and aims to help new customers who need assistance to help rebrand, set up, and launch your BuddyBoss website. The end result is a beautifully branded website with a setup and configuration that aligns with your business objectives, pre-configured third-party plugins, and a focus on simplicity 
with best practices for a strong, reliable, and secure website foundation. In the first month alone, we've received dozens of projects and all are ongoing at the moment, but we've received some amazing feedback for customers going through this service. And in the next update, I'll share some of what we've been working on. For those of you who haven't started building your website yet and would love the help of the Buddy Boss team, take a look at a done for you web service. The link is in the description below or in the card at the top. And if you need more customization than our done for you web or app service, our Buddy Boss agency is always available to help you with custom setups. We understand that your audience may require a unique solution, and that's why we continue to help Buddy Boss clients build custom experiences tailored for their audience's needs. Our agency team has a proven track record of delivering high quality solutions that cater to thousands and even millions of users. Just take a look at the feedback from one of the latest projects our agency team have been working on, Emerge Alpha. With their assistance, Emerge Alpha has become a more user-friendly platform for our use case. Would I recommend Buddy Boss? Based on our experience, yes. Buddy Boss Agency obviously has an intimate understanding of the full capabilities and limitations of the off-the-shelf platform, but through their experience, they also have key insight into its full potential. Thank you, Buddy Boss Agency, for your efforts in refining our platform. If you're considering customization, I would definitely reach out to them to have a chat about your project. And if you have custom requirements for your project and need a team that can help you achieve your vision, reach out to the Buddy Boss Agency for an initial consultation and speak to one of our agency team members about your new project. Rapid is a new company and service that provides a cloud hosting solution built from the ground up for dynamic WordPress websites and apps, ideal for Buddy Boss web and app users. Say goodbye to sluggish performance and hello to auto scaling and predictive scaling technology. This has been one of the biggest pain points for so many of our customers, big and small, and so we're super excited that the public beta will be available at the end of September or early October. Yes, that's right, this month. It's also important for me to stress that the public beta capacity is extremely limited. So if you do want the chance to experience cloud hosting that's tailored for you and your community or e-learn insight, then make sure you sign up today at rapid.cloud. Just fill in the form and someone from the team will be in touch very soon. And if you haven't watched our previous podcast where we discussed how Rapid came to be, then I highly recommend it. But to summarize, we've built Rapid because ultimately there is no ideal hosting solution on the market for dynamic sites. When speaking to hundreds of customers and just by browsing community comments, it was the same issue time and time again. We've watched over the last couple of years and have seen customers attempt and fail at setting up their own dedicated servers or migrating to cloud servers without the experience or the dedicated support that you'll get from a managed host. And that's why we had to come up with a solution. Bringing in Wes, we've worked for more than a year building this solution. And honestly, I've not seen any better performance results from any of my previous web hosting experiences for dynamic sites. More importantly, we've had exactly the same feedback from our private beta customers who are already using it for their production sites. And to top it all off, it has been saving them between 20 and 40% of their previous hosts costs. While Rapid is its own company with its own leadership team and staff, they have many years of buddy boss and hosting experience. So you can rest assured that you'll receive prompt, dedicated support from our specialized hosting or migrations team. I'm extremely excited to see Rapid finally release to the public beta and would urge anyone who's starting their community site and want to start it off with performance and scalability, or those many of you who already are growing now but have issues with stability or speed, sign up to the public beta and don't miss this opportunity. 
Those first in will receive the best early bird pricing and will never have to worry about hosting performance ever again. Just head along to rapid.cloud. So that is it for this video update. A lot of exciting new features were released and are even more are on the way. We've also covered the latest release of our done for you web service and I've shared more about the launch of Rapid Public Beta, which is going to be coming up in less than six weeks now. If you are excited about the details shared today or want to ask any questions, please do leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, so you can be notified about any new video. And with that said, I will see you on the next Buddy Bust update.